But I, I had them out, like I'm psychic. These are not <gasps> wow. Yeah, let me show like you. Like, this is an audio podcast, but here, let's put them up so that we can take a screen cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Blit Book Club. That's Via Lit Book Club, where once a month we read a book or a series. Yeah. You know, we've really stretched ourselves this <laughs> month and read a full beloved BL series. Yeah, highlight beloved. Highlight beloved. I mean, I feel like this is one of the the all-time greats. I feel like this these are like our founding fathers. It feels yeah. to me. It's like in cherry magic in the way you can tell by how many people love it by how much it's been adapted yeah and how much like casual bl readers will know about it right totally mm -hmm. um we are going to talk about where we read all nine volumes of my love mix up um i'm looking at it now it was first printed in 2021 so oh but then the rights were 2019 so first published in japan in 2019 and uh, to this day, still slaps. Um, let me read the little copy in the back um, because someone wrote, translated very hard. <laughs> um, Aoki has a crush on Hashimoto, the girl in the seat next to him in class, but he despairs when he borrows her eraser and sees she's written the name of another bo boy, Ida, on it. To make matters more confusing, Ida sees him holding that very eraser and thinks Aoki has a crush on him. Hilarity ensues. That is essentially mm -hmm. just the pebble that turns into an avalanche that, and then goes into nine volumes. And that's the story of my life. Yes. <laughs> it's basically a story about how much can one little white lie turn into um, a boulder. <laughs> just a true boulder. Yeah. And it has just literally steamrolled through the lives of these people. Um, okay. I want to talk because you have had, you've had this collection. You've read it mm -hmm. before. Right. I've read it before, yeah. Okay. What do you what are your what your big strokes? <laughs> what do you love about My Love Mix Up? Yes, this is the best use of the miscommunication trope. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That yeah, yeah. Exists. Like as a writer, and I, I'm uh -huh. sure you feel this way sometimes as a creative person. Yeah. I get mad how good the story is. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How simple it is. Yes. And I'm like, God, I wish I thought of that first because it's such a good idea. <laughs> I know. I mean, like the eraser thing, like at first I was like, oh, I mean, like it's it's there's it's clearly like a cultural thing, right? But then it's also <laughs> like, even if it's not cultural, we like as a school kid, you do stupid stuff like that all the time. Yeah. Um I've written on erasers before. I don't think I've written names on them before, but I've like drawn on erasers before and I totally understand how silly that can be. Mm. Um, yeah. What, um, when you first read it, like, do you, do you remember just like knowing about it and then picking it up? Or did you like, like, how did you kind of come into it? It was the, the J drama. It was the JBL. Oh, it was. Okay, not live okay. action. And as a book reader, I'm like, well, let me read it first. And then I'll watch the show. Yeah. yeah. Well, how is okay? That so this one is um, there is a JBL, and then there is currently um mm -hmm. a Thai re uh Thai version that is being made or mm -hmm. it's being um uh aired. Pub aired? Yeah, I was like published. <laughs> What's the word? Okay. Um, aired. <laughs> yes, at time of recording. So um. Oh, okay, so you found you found the JBL first. Okay, mm -hmm. I have not watched the Thai version first. Me neither, um, me neither. It's gonna sound really dumb, but <laughs> I've never watched My School President, and I feel me like I, I, I watch the uh, another Gemini and Fourth show. Yes, I totally <laughs> agree. I feel like I need to watch something. Uh, yes, I, yes, so, totally like, agree. They're actors, and they could do whatever, but it totally. still feels like it's in order. There is, yeah, but yeah. like based on like ship, yeah. Like I wouldn't tell you to go watch Midnight Chicken until you watched A Tale of a Thousand Stars. Mm, okay, okay. No, I wouldn't tell you to watch A Boss and a Babe until you watched Enchante. 
See, that's what we messed up. We we drove right into only friends. And, <laughs> and, and, that's a and, old phenomenon. <laughs> yes, I know that was the kind of thing. But that's the thing when we drove, that drove was right like into the Cartoon only Network crossover. Yes, <laughs> Scooby Doo Laugh Olympics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we drove into Only Friends, it, we were all like, "Yes, this is the first time experiencing all of these ships," um, and and everyone was like, "Yes, you have to go back to like learn your history, basically." Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so my love mix up. I I knew I also knew of the JBL, but in my kind of like resurgence, not resurgence, but like mm-hmm. new obsession of like getting BLs and like reading BLs and everything, mm-hmm. um, I had purchased uh the first my love mix up a while ago when i like first started building my collection and um i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna read that i'm gonna read that um one of our braids john zell collected a bunch of manga and he was like do you want any of these and i was like anything you want to give away that you don't want anymore i will uh, please i uh, happy to rehome at my own uh, i love that yes and so he sent me uh the first two i think yes he sent me the first two and then i ended up just re i was like okay well then now i'm committed i'm just gonna keep getting all of them and so in my local i believe it was my local barnes but i we also have a um a plethora of comic book stores in my neighborhood so (laughs) picked up three four and five so i had the first five and then i remember when i first reached out to you i was like hey let's do it let's read it no but i only have the first five but then I don't know if you know this, Auburn. There's this thing called the library where people can just rent stuff for free. Yes. Did you know that? I, I'm i happy to say, as a future published author, the trial period yeah. coming out February 4th. Yes. Please ask for libraries for it. I know yeah. all about the library. You can rent Kindle books. Yeah. You can rent DVDs, laptops, uh-huh. you audiobooks, whatever you want from the library. And they're so nice. They they will throw this stuff at you. <laughs> they really will. <laughs> yes. I when I was picking okay, so if Chicago has a great public library. Um, and there's many branches, obviously, because it's a big city. But I was like, I think if I were reserve it at a place where it's available that's the only place to get it no diva Mm -hmm. you can select what your nearest library is and they will send it there for free and you can just pick it up um i ended up choosing like our main library which is the hair washington downtown because it's a beautiful building it's huge it's like very historic and i was like it's my first time to go anyway so i went in there I picked up my little books Mm -hmm. i got my little barcode and then i just like walked around because it's huge and uh i i literally i was i like as if i was a new person in society i was like <laughs> tweeting about it like guys you can request books in a library it's a miracle <laughs> it's a miracle so i think i'll still end up buying six to nine mm-hmm. but uh for the recording i was like well let me just get them now and you know it's a it's a good way to support and um mm-hmm uh keep the libraries going so very very excited but yes so and then when i first dove in i knew okay it's a misunderstanding like that's just Mm -hmm. miscommunication that's the whole gist yes and the the troubling thing about miscommunication is that you have to convince the readers it's a good enough miscommunication or it's annoying that's why miscommunication is such an annoying trope because it's like well why aren't they just talking to each other Mm-hmm. I think the reason they he doesn't explain the truth is such a good reason. Yes, totally. They have built like um I Aoki I I Aoki, I think it's Aoki. Um Aoki and Ida are so different. And yeah. it makes it so delicious that they have been forced in this in this uh situation because they're so different and because it was like we didn't actually like it like they were just two normal guys didn't think of one another at Mm -hmm. all that's just a guy in my class yeah he sits behind Um, me i he offered me his umbrella one seems fine that's it that's literally it no harm no foul but because of the whole misunderstanding it just like sets off in motion especially Mm -hmm. for ida who like is the character that i love to read about i love to watch them i love to write about characters like this Mm -hmm. because it's just like they are 
experiencing like the world for the first time yes. without without any like prejudice or like fear and it's so like sometimes characters like this are a hard sell right <laughs> because it's like no one is this aloof mm -hmm. there are people <laughs> there are yes and like even especially like a high school like boy totally totally i don't care i got my dog volleyball gotta that's keep my it. up cool yeah mom washes my shirts that's all i needed life yeah i mean like i wish i was this aloof in high school are you kidding me <laughs> but no i'm also an aoki i i feel too much i know and I overanalyze every single thing. Like if I say this, then it's going to make him think about this. Like it's giving, I kind of go over conversations in my head before I say A hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> and I do that all the time. And it's so, it was so funny. I mean, even in just like the actual graphic of it all, the graphic novel of it all, the mm -hmm. way they animate both of their faces and Ida is literally just like stone face almost entirely all the time almost and, like that yeah. like jpeg meme like as you can yes. see this is this is actual moving and they're just yes, not <laughs> yes. And then uh, we have aoki looking insane like he's in a different manga his i know so different like a Saturday morning cartoon and everybody else is normal. Yes, he has these crazy reactions that make me like raffle. It <laughs> makes me itch ball. Like, because he looks so grotesque, the like, like <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I mean, I I love Opposites Attract. That's, I, I love, I love, I, lo I will eat it up. I do too. Uh, <laughs> and, I think like because of how simple it is and like at first I was like oh this is like gay panic the the series where it's like mm. oh like, what does it mean for like a guy to like me blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. but it's really more from Aoki's side Ida does not really have gay panic it's just yeah. like matter of fact which is like yeah because it's like he like everything is like black and white to him totally totally while aoki is just like a stream of color like overly thinking and when i first read the series and ida just being like well these are the facts and like this is what it is and just like so to the point and mm -hmm. when he gets flustered it's because of aoki because he's like determining like oh these are the feelings of having a crush like he's experiencing mm -hmm. the crush for the first time i'm like is he demisexual oh he likes somebody because he got to know them and i was wow. like because like nothing else is like that big of a deal and then aoki yeah. makes everything a big deal and my favorite line in the series is aoki being like i need you to think about me as much as i think about you yes uh, like what? i absolutely am <laughs> yeah the the fact that he's like i need you to be going through as much as i am because yeah, I'm going through it, <laughs> going through it. Because I feel crazy. I am going crazy, and you literally are not. And so he's like, "Oh, okay. I guess that's what being in love is." <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I yeah, I'm eating it up. And like, the, this is my this. I mean, this is our second episode, but <laughs> this we read the whole series, right? And so mm -hmm. I was really, I was really happy that we did. I feel like if we're going to do more manga series like this, and we have, we really have to read the whole series to kind of get the full arc of the story, I think. Yeah. And it does take time to read manga, mm -hmm. like, else, but it does take me half the time as, like, yes. a cool book. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, because they're at that, like, second, third year of high school. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting to see them, like, how does this, keep playing out like yes we got i mean the misunderstanding kind of gets through pretty quickly after the first like two maybe three volumes yeah. right and then i think if it i don't know if i'm reading into it because i think mm -hmm. about plot so so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah i'm trying yeah. to think of like oh what was the author thinking right. i think this the miscommunication changes every volume totally yeah so like oh we cleared that up oh but now the miscommunication is that aoki really does like ida uh-huh and now the miscommunication is like oh does this girl like aoki that he works with oh yes that's not it. oh we don't want to go to college together oh we do want to go to college together yes like, it's like a, it's a whole 
oh, it just hit me. This whole story is about communication. <laughs> <laughs> and it talking is. things out and being honest. <laughs> Talking things out, I mean, like, I feel like every BL, every, like, dating show that we've even seen, mm-hmm. like, that's always the thing that we bring up is, like, just talk it out, just talk it out. Obviously, it's easier said than done because that is not easy to do, especially yeah. when you're talking about feeling your own feelings. Yes, and that's Hashimoto's whole story is that mm-hmm. she has, like, she's afraid, and that's why she slaps um Ada so hard. Ada, I Not know. everybody is brave as you. It's hard to get your feelings across. Yes, it's uh-huh. not... Yes, not everyone can just like say exactly what they feel at that very exact moment. Yeah. Um, let's sidetrack a little bit to Hashimoto and Ada because yes. Hashimoto yes. is such a good best girl, like the girl in the VL. She is truly one of my favorites. An iconic Bob. What else could you ask for? <laughs> yes, an iconic Bob. She's so good. She's best girl. Mm-hmm. I love how immediately she's like, I'm a root for you. Yes. We're in this together. Yeah. And then and then she gets what she wants in the end. They're such a good side couple. Cause I was rooting for them just as much as I Yeah, did. totally. Yeah. Like I did appreciate that some of the chapters, because they had the length of time in the series, some mm-hmm. of the chapters were just on them. Yeah. Which is really nice to just like see how they develop. Because they also like secondary couples also have the is kind of like going through a, a different version of the main thing, right? The like reflection, the- yes. Yes, they're a reflection. Sometimes it's like played way more into comedy. Sometimes they're like able to explore other things. And I I think for this one, like they're the ones who are like, it's still like two opposite personalities. Mm-hmm. But I do like, yeah, like Hashimoto, there she leads with her emotions a little bit, and then it almost feels like Ada is devoid of emotions. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny because she's not concerned with being cool. Yeah. The coolest person in the book. There's even like a little yes. side story of all the girls in the class being like, who would we date? And then they're like, oh, Hashimoto, because uh-huh. she's the coolest. And Ada is so concerned about being cool, mm-hmm. but he just acts like a loser all the time. Yes. I mean, even in the first like the in the first volumes and they play it out in the in the uh the bl too Mm -hmm. um of her slapping him and like it's Mm -hmm. kind of like they always keep people keep seeing them like have these interactions and yeah Mm -hmm. no one thinks ada is cool no um and i I also have to say i love that she gets comedy too yes it's easy to have a girl in a story and she's just the straight man totally totally but no like her being like a gorilla yes i know well, the thing- gonna get a mohawk and a fro yeah. out she's so funny she is so funny because she's kind of like saying and doing these things that like aren't prim and proper but she's not concerned about being prim and proper yeah. she's really concerned more about just like i want to be true to my feelings and i'm gonna do what i want which is like <laughs> oh my god imagine imagine being in high school and doing and thinking having that sense of maturity <laughs> I I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I, did I, it. I don't. Um. I want to know if you acted up in high school, but mm. I lied to my friends and <gasps> said I had a boyfriend at another school. Oh! <laughs> Stop bothering me about who I had a crush on. Um. I mean, I had like a little girlfriend, and mm-hmm. so that is kind of the same thing, but it had to deal with an, an actual person. So. <laughs> um but no i mean i was always so concerned about like what people thought about me especially in high school and like because i was doing theater because i was doing like speech and debate and stuff like it, i always felt like i needed to i cared a lot about so i did i i felt a lot of like what aoki is feeling throughout the mm-hmm. the thing of like what are people going to think of me i do wish that i was able to like brush it off as good as he did i felt like later on like i texted you about when we got to the cram school part right and yeah. he meets a he meets a tutor and the tutor kind of like treats him differently because he realizes that he's dating a guy mm-hmm. and they kind of handle it very i was really scared I was really no. scared, Diva. I and thought that we were going to get into some really sweaty territory where they have to, like, name it. Mm-hmm. And they did name it. Mm-hmm. But he was like, no, 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 no. I'm not that. 
but they're like but you are because that's how what you thought yeah you're treating and, different but i'm the same but i'm the same i know was and it such was a like, good line. i was so proud of I him know. he had such a, it was such a light bulb moment for him that i was like oh yeah that's literally that's it that's how you explain mm-hmm. it and um i i just i just thought that was really cool and i I really do appreciate how much they go through just in their relationship Mm -hmm. and able to like help each other out. Yes, there were times where Aoki like kind of just like shut Ida out. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought it was very high school how they just kept breaking up when they started dating, just constantly breaking up. I thought it was so funny. (laughs) I thought it was so funny. And I'm glad that it never became like a, it never became like too real. Yeah, something they couldn't talk their way through, you know. Yes, and that that's another reason the series is so good because they never like have those long pauses of them yes. of like angst and being broken up. They're like, yeah, this is really sad, and I'd rather talk to you about it and feel better yes. than like stew by myself. Yes, yeah, totally. Um, real quick on Hashimoto, I loved that. You know, there's this big scene where she slaps Ada um and it kind of comes back later of like <laughs> why she's so strong because her parents yeah. her parents are pro wrestlers and i i lost my shit were you like they wrote this book for me they literally <laughs> wrote this book for me cuz ada was like oh my god are you cute eyes blah 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 and i was like oh, he's a joshi wrestler oh my god and she has her father's eyes because he even thinks he's like wow she doesn't really look like her mom because she has her dad's beautiful eyes beautiful eyes um and and her superhuman strength (laughs) (laughs) that's where it's all in the family it's all in the family it's so cute i okay the family also like got me really sweaty because i was like really scared they teased a little bit of like Ida's family may but then it was a misunderstanding right like that's what I mean it's just like our whole lives are just misunderstandings constant misunderstandings and Mm -hmm. like that's not a bad thing that's just how life is yeah that's what I really love about the story is that they just will always go back and just rehash it out and talk through it and then clear it up and then Mm -hmm. they go into the next thing yeah and there's also always an encouragement of like and then when you feel this way, talk to me next time. Yes. We can talk yeah. about this again. Like, it's never like, oh, we talked about it. That's it. We will never yeah. bring it up again. Like, no, it's like, they always remember. Yes. And it starts like, obviously, like with this eraser thing, but even like when they start dating, like when, when, when Aoki does something and then Ida is like giggles to himself, but then like mm-hmm. doesn't say anything. And then Aoki spends like the rest of the week or whatever thinking about like, he hates me. He doesn't love blah, 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 blah. He it's thinks I'm stupid. Da, 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 da. It's just a joke to him. Mm-hmm. And then Ida would be like, no, I thought that was really charming. And I'd like mm-hmm. that about you. <laughs> and he's like, well, why did you say it? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, I have okay. a theory about yeah. the way um, Aoki is drawn through the series. Mm. I feel like in the beginning, when uh-huh. he's like his yeah. craziest, when he's like his most nervous, he's mm-hmm. drawn the craziest. And then as the series goes and he's more comfortable with himself, I feel like by the end of the last volume, the 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 artist just draws him regular. Uh huh. So much more because I think he's just more comfortable. I think he's calmer by the end of the series. Yes, totally. Mm. Well, I think like that. So the, what's really nice about having the series go through like the rest of high school with them is that mm-hmm. they coming of age, coming yeah. of age, and they yeah. have to go through what you have to go through at the end of high school, like making sure you like finding out what you want to do, what career path you want to go through, passing your exams, getting into school, all of that. Where are you going to live? Where are you going to live? I love that they still incorporated that and like kept like evolving their relationship in order Mm -hmm. to see like, okay, is this test going to then stop them? No, it's going to keep going, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Because yeah, it constantly. They didn't change together. They they wouldn't work out. Yeah, exactly. And I think that what you were saying, because he's gone through way more, Mm -hmm. you know, by the end of, he's gone through so much by the end of the book that, yeah, like the, the peaks and valleys kind of level out. He still has peaks and valleys, but like, they're more into his spirit than like. Yes. He's still the same Aoki. Totally. But he's just a matured version. 
Yeah, yeah. Because I hate it in books and movies where, like, the little shy, nervous person at the end of this, like, movie or whatever is now suddenly introverted. No, totally. you can still be shy and anxious, but you're just, yeah. like, your your life's better by the end. Yes, yeah, totally. Um, What did you think about that stupid fake out where he loses his... I was reading it because I finished book nine today. I was in the, I was literally at a cafe before this and I got to that part and I was like, this cannot, please don't do this to me. Do not the do this one, to me. <laughs> the one thing that bumps me about this entire series was that, and I'm like, we didn't need that. We didn't need it at all. It felt to me that they ordered nine volumes and the author read out of story. And they're just like, you know what? He trips and we have a dream sequence. I don't know. Like, I guess it kind of shows us that Ida's feelings really are so sincere. This is like yes. his worst nightmare. Right. But like, I kind of already knew that. that. <laughs> like, I'd rather this. Okay. If I could go back, I sit down with the author and the mm -hmm. artist. I'll be like, listen, let's do an epilogue instead. Yes. Show me what actually happens to them like yeah. 10 years from now oh my god give me a nine year fast forward because the thing is like and you can even do like a really interesting maybe it's vague enough that you don't know are they still together yeah. are they living together yeah. like maybe they're just having like a conversation and you have no idea if they're still together or not but they're still how you remember them and how you want to think fondly of them you know exactly maybe they come back for the time capsule and they <gasps> that's what i her. thought was gonna happen but no we got something goofy 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 yeah. derogatory i wonder i wonder if they were full yeah i bet it was that they're like well because that happens in tv shows all the time especially back in yeah. the day when the only options were like you got 22 episodes in a season so we're like okay so then i guess in this episode ross gets a tan i don't know like <laughs> the beach episode yes the beach episode <laughs> clips just like do you remember the time and then it's just flashbacks <laughs> um but yeah i mean i got over it i was like okay this is just the, it, the, the that was the thing i really liked at least that we got a glimpse of the future and like mm -hmm. how could these characters pan out as adults and so i did like that i like that yeah. Aoki like mellows out obviously but it still has the same excitement about everything yeah and I liked seeing Ida with longer hair I thought it was cute I really like that look oh my god me too <laughs> when his bangs were down after a shower before he got a cold I was yes. like yes that every time yes um okay the last things like just like in in like plot and character wise I also I really like the family I know we talked about Hashimoto's family but mm -hmm. I really liked both sets of their parents even though they didn't play a big role they played just enough to kind of be like this is the home life that they have and what pressures may come from there too mm -hmm. um it's nice from like uh aoki's point of view that it really is just like him that he really just puts all of the pressure on himself because mm -hmm. it seems like his family's just like girl we don't care you're going to school like that's great. You figured out what you want to do. Awesome. Like they are just <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy you're getting into college. Like I know. We care they, about. <laughs> exactly. Like I think like she even like in those scenes like she's just like I'm just happy that you have friends. Like <laughs> truly. <laughs> I know. Like the little peek into his past that like he was like bullied and like yes. that's how he changed schools and yeah. all that kind of stuff. It was like just a little sprinkle. Just I know. I did so heavy. I will say when they when they showed the little fat Aoki kid, I, I was like, "This was they wrote this for me." <laughs> you know, what? when I turn to the back, I see dedication, RJ. Dedication <laughs> to RJ, who who, who will read, read this someday. <laughs> <years. laughs> because, like, literally, just that little bit, even if like they kind of telegraphed a little bit with like how the kids like treated him which like mm -hmm. obviously that's that's also a reality but yeah. even if we didn't get anything about like how other kids treated him just seeing him i mean like did you did you watch blooming like it's that yes. same, like yes it's that same feeling of like there they did show like him getting bullied but like you even in just the visual storytelling of like oh that's how he felt mm -hmm. i'm like yep i get it 
hundred percent. I mm -hmm. understand why he is overthinking every single thing. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, um, when people are talking about you once, you wonder what they're saying later on. Exactly, exactly. Um, but even in um, with uh, Ida's parents, like it made sense that like his dad is not there because mm -hmm. he's working in Antarctica as a surveyor. Slay! <laughs> I was like, his, his parents are so cool. Oh my God, his parents are so cool. His parents are so cool. I was like, oh my God. Uh, but it's that kind of feeling of like, uh, just like doing well in school. Like mm -hmm. that's kind of instilled. I'm glad that he doesn't like feel pressure mm -hmm. um, to, to kind of like, be you know to like excel in anything but i also think they got really lucky with a very good kid so <laughs> yeah. like him being like it's so interesting like just like the subtle character develop or like explanation of the characters of like yeah him always being left on his own to like think yes. for himself you know it's only ever been him mm -hmm. so like it does make sense so when he goes out with like hanging out with other kids he's just worried about himself he's not thinking yeah. about everybody else because he's always been alone yeah totally He's like, oh, oh I'm and fine. At the end, he's like, you know what? But I do like being alone with you. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, I think it keeps going back to like, they are, they're not, they're not like, they're writing, they are welcoming how different they are. And like, that's mm -hmm. like not, it's not the point of like, you know, having to change or feel whatever in order yes. to make the other person like, it's never about like I'm changing so that way like I can be more like what you want me to be mm -hmm. or it shouldn't be like that. It's really like I we like each other because of how different we are. And like that's yeah. that just comes with like having to communicate. Um, my life is better because you're bringing something to my life that, that was not before. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, oh, okay. I love Series. I know, I love it so much. It honestly, this is one that I could see myself like rereading over and over again. Actually. That that's what I love about um collecting manga. I pull it out constantly just to just to reread my like favorite little bits. Yeah. I mean like uh okay, 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 okay. The 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 kiss the kisses. Yeah. They are so spice. It is so mild. So it's, mild, it's gross, modest. Like, it's nothing. Honey. It's really nothing. But it's it it doesn't feel like it's it does it never felt like I'm missing out. Like, wow, they haven't like they really built it up that like, yep, it's like book five, and we really have never thought about kissing. <laughs> <laughs> We have been holding hands and we had one little cheek kiss and we're good. And that's it. And like, I believed I like, I'm so I'm glad that at the end, mm -hmm. like I was like, Hey girl. So <laughs> I did like that. Like, it's such like a funny change in Ida to see him like become a horny teenage boy. Yes. Like, yeah. Oh, I get to take the lead. Yeah. Let's go off somewhere. And Aoki just not thinking like, Oh, I'm alone with my boyfriend. Uh Oh, yeah i'm glad that 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 was um i'm glad that that was part of like his development obviously but like to actually take the time and like write like a chapter or two about like no like it's give and take like he also needs to like take the lead on things and not be just the person that happened like the things happen to him you mm -hmm. know because aoki is just like more of the active guy yeah which like i think that's always i get in uh, sometimes like when we watch the dating shows especially mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. not to like hate on their our sisters who love the dating shows but... but sometimes there's always like the thing of like and i'm saying this as a as an extrovert okay i'm saying this as an extrovert <laughs> and i will listen as an extrovert <laughs> <laughs> okay okay but sometimes in in these dating shows or whatever in relationships they always depict the like well they're not reaching out to the introvert and like doing things on their terms or whatever blah blah blah, blah. that's what i really like about this book because it's like yes but the other person is also a person and i need to reach out to them it can't always be the one person reaching out to the other yeah. even if you are not inherently an extroverted person or a person to reach out like that that's still a human being that needs to feel like they are being they need that affirmation to. yes on both sides yes yeah 
because I know so there's so much BL in my brain. I know, right? <laughs> Let me recommend you a BL. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it is airing right now. It's free on Wee TV. It's called okay, Monster okay. Next Door. Oh yes, I've seen I've seen the girlies post on Twitter. The yeah. whole thing is an extrovert and introvert getting together. Mm-hmm. And the newest episode, the introverted character was like, I need to do something super nice for him because yeah, he does yeah. everything. Yeah. And it's it's so good. People just want to know. You, people people don't know, know unless you tell them. Exactly. And Those it's never... Communication. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like he's asking him... Like, it's not like Aoki is, like, asking Aida to do, like, anything big. It's no. Li- it's, it's just as simple as, like, answering questions sometimes. But you have to... I like that we see that in Ida that like he he knows that he has to make an effort too and mm-hmm. you know who was my unsung hero the fucking <gasps> volleyball team the volleyball team yes! <laughs> It was so sad that, like, they were so supportive and Ida had to go back and tell, like, uh, JK, we're actually not dating. Sorry. You know, like, the fact they that... Were so sweet. They're so sweet. They're also supportive of one another because they were fully like, this is how we would treat anyone who, if they started dating, right? Anyone yes. in our team. And yes. so, like... It's like, best friend being like, I've been worried about him his whole life. Yeah. And now I don't have to worry anymore. No, I don't have to worry. And I like that sometimes I, I get worried when they introduce new characters. I'm like, oh, this is another character that I have to keep track of. They yeah. do a good job of like, they just sprinkle them in and then yeah. you only need them to know, you only need to know them for this, like this little bit, but then <laughs> you just know that they're in their lives. So it's just like, yes, they have know. their role in the story. And then we have the core four. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that was really nice. I like that about his friends of the volleyball team. Um, I loved that when Aoki got a part-time job at a sushi place, he brought all of them there um, <laughs> to like give him good business. And um, he got je- like uh, the the jealousy. Obviously, is is mm-hmm. like, was it was it to his the senior that was like working at the restaurant too? Yes, right? the girl. Oh, I casted her. Um, <gasps> oh, Sai Sainjin Sainjin Sainjin. Okay. Yes, her, Miss Eva. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful. I was like, they did so, not have to draw her so gorgeous. They did not. I know. I like props to the to the artist because they no. did a really good job. Thank you, uh, Aruko. <laughs> and the the he's like he's pressing like the order button over and over again because they're a little them, bit like, too whispering. close, gotta get him yeah. over. <laughs> so I love that. I love the like little Ida things of like when he, we get to see him be impulsive, I think it's mm-hmm. like, it makes me, oh, it's so delicious. Yes. A little robot learning emotions. I, I know. Like, oh, so good. I love it. Okay. Um, in every BL that we've covered uh, on Boys Love, Boys Love, we <laughs> we have this running bit of the Stations of the Cross mm-hmm. where like a BL has to hit these crosses. Um, basically, it's basically just what we call the tropes. Um, what were some of your favorite stations that we that we prayed to <laughs> during yes. this during this uh, BL? This I I love a I love a slow burn. Right. Totally. Totally. I love a slow burn. That's one of my faves. When they went to that hotel and there was the one bed, I screamed. <gasps> ah, I mean, okay, so that's the station of the cross, the forced cohabitation, and it comes in different whatever you know formats, and that's definitely one where it's like they have to share it. That is, oh, I, I give me a mashup of every single time that has happened to the BS. Yes, I, I was like, it. I yeah, I need like a clip. I need a TikTok edit where it's just like a montage of every <laughs> single time that happens. Yes. <laughs> I, I, it kind of sucked that they were like, well, let's go change rooms. Um, I know. But <laughs> I don't know if this is a trope or a station, but um, whenever somebody purposely scares the other, oh, so they get, like nervous and clingy. Yeah. I feel like that happens often. Yeah. That's got to be something. Because yeah. it even happens in like straight BLT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's rampant. It's rampant. Um, yeah, I wonder if it's especially like the ghosts. Like once you figure out like someone is like scared of ghosts and the other one isn't, that becomes like a leg mm-hmm. up that they use, which I think is always cute. Mm-hmm. Um 
in that same example, there's like the watching of the sleep, which I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the watching of the sleep when he like tries to kiss him, or like mm-hmm. Ida's thinking about kissing him. Yes. Right? Just so brushes his fingers over he his lips. Brushes, listeners, he brushes his Ida brushes his fingers on um Aoki's lips and he thought that he kissed him in in, <laughs> in his sleep. And Aoki being like, oh yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, we're boyfriends. Like, that's great if you like wanted to kiss, like, if you want to kiss, yes. Instead of being like, oh, Beth, oh, no. actually, I didn't, but okay, I guess I know that now that I can. And that's when Aoki's like, oh no, like, I've revealed too much, basically. Um, this what is about starting, you? this is starting to become a station of the cross, but the accidental drag. What is going on? They- <laughs> Why do we keep walking into these accidental drag uh, opportunities in DM? Mm-hmm. It's so good. They have, and I'm glad that I watched the first couple episodes of the drama too, because they play it out there too, where they have to like mm-hmm. fill in for Cinderella. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so good because it kind of like knocks them out of their, like it kind of knocks them out of like break societal norms of mm-hmm. like being shy or whatever to do something goofy. And it mm-hmm. like, it's almost like breaking through like the liminal space of water. It's like the drag is also a liminal space where yes. if you put them through, <laughs> we are allowed to openly like each other. To yes, uh, oh my god, a breakthrough. Yes, uh, and then at the end of the series, when they do Cinderella again, again, so those two could like actually be Cinderella. And then yeah, somebody yeah. says like, "Oh, I love my prince," and Aoki like looks at Ida because that's his prince. <sighs> I, love I also that. loved that I think they just did it in the drama, but the uh, Ida's mom had had their Cinderella picture as like her back phone. Back. Yes, <laughs> and I liked that, that. Like that was one of the reasons, right? Like that Ida likes Aoki because he he is impulsive like that, where he. It's like he doesn't care about certain things. So that's yeah. why I understand why he is like falling in love with him because it's like, mm-hmm. oh, you don't care about things. And yeah. which which sets up the misunderstanding, the so much of the misunderstanding because it's like, but you didn't care about volunteering for Cinderella. Why do you all of a sudden care about this? Or, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Aoki constantly like, not meaning to make Ida like fall in love with him, but right. him just being himself by like being kind to others. It shows like, oh, that's really important to Ida that the person he likes or he's with is a very kind person. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I mean, yeah, like the, the manga. I know. <laughs> um, I mean, like the main station obviously is the misunderstanding relationship that's mm-hmm. the whole it's the whole i mean it's what was i thinking about it's like it's like this is the church of the misunderstood relationship yes um i wonder if that i need to talk to adam about that like maybe if bl is so clearly one station of the cross that they become the church of that <laughs> <laughs> the church of that station of the cross the church of that station yes yes this is definitely the church of the misunderstood relationship yes um, this is like sitting on the pew as a bible absolutely (laughs) this is vatican city honey (laughs) and can i say too how funny it is to wait till the last volume to tell me as a common american (laughs) that because aoki read her eraser it wasn't supposed to work anymore it like loses the charm oh yeah yeah yeah. broke what it was supposed to be (laughs) and i was like oh so it didn't matter at all anyways it didn't (laughs) it's just nothing it's nothing. Nothing. Uh, Nothing's it's nothing. ever as big as a deal as you make it to be. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. So we, this is now the Delulu corner of the show where we yeah. cast the, a BL. Now, this BL has already been adapted into a Japanese drama and a Thai drama. Mm-hmm. And since Aubert and I are um, K-pop Delulus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's true. Well, like we did with the first book, we're gonna now cast this as a K drama, uh, yeah. as a KBL, yeah, with 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 anyone, you know. Anyone. I'm a child of scam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do in every country, so I never have a problem with um people redoing shows. And oh re- yeah. 
I don't know I, what the hullabaloo is about. I give me this seven other times. Thank, thank you. Thank you give me a cherry magic from every continent of this globe. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you you have a cast, right? I have a cast. Okay, go for I'm, it. I'm I'm not confident about I'm confident about two people. Okay. But my hardest one to um cast was Ida. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that I think that can be, that can be any nugu. That yeah. can be any boy oh, idol an actor to have no emotions. Absolutely, that can be any idol that mm-hmm. wants to like try out acting. Yes, <laughs> I have like six names. Okay, no, that was dramatic. I have three names. <laughs> <laughs> who do you who do you want to start with first? I want to save Ike and Ida. I love so. that. Let's do let's do Hashimoto Ida first or Ada. Okay. First. Hashimoto has first she has to have a bob. Absolutely. I I'm not folding on that. Period. Period. Uh, end of sentence. That's Unche. on the writer contract. <laughs> Unche from La Seraphim. Oh, iconic Bob. Country has, Bob. <laughs> has to. Yes. The Machni yeah. of La Seraphim. She does her fun little shows. Mm-hmm. I feel like she's like a little spitfire. She's so cute. I also tried to cast teenagers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have to be. We could do like a euphoria. Wait, Han Yu Jin could probably play Ada. I I put him down. Okay. <laughs> because <laughs> Han Yujin is just like he just tells it like it is he doesn't really like the wait wait now that I'm thinking about it he really is like Ada mm-hmm. he's just like oh I guess I didn't realize that I was supposed to do this or because I just whatever it's yeah. everything's whatever you know because Han Yujin wants to be cool but he's yes. not he's not he's like kind of weird yes and, I, and he's so handsome yeah he's like half of Ida's character yeah so like so I, weird. I could get why like someone like Hashimoto could like really obsess with, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they've worked together, so that's built in chemistry. That is built in chemistry. That's good. I love Unche. She has the biggest eyes, and yeah, she is a Spitfire. She's not afraid to like. Uh... She has to be good at comedy too. Yes, yes, and she is very fun. She's just like innately funny. Mm-hmm. Um, that's good. That's good casting. I like that. I felt really good about that. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have other side characters before yes. we get to the big boys? The beautiful girl who worked at the restaurant, mm-hmm. and I'm so sorry I'm getting her name wrong. Hold on, let me look it up. Sai Sayonji G Sayonji Sayonji. I just got to. Okay, here it is. I feel so bad. Her hair is like, uh, what a. Like an uh, ink spill. I know. Sionji, yeah. Sionji. Yeah. I did Jiyun from Isna. Oh! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> it's so perfect because um, your last episode of the recap came out, and I was like, uh-huh. it would be so good. And that way she, like, talks to people when she's, like, leading. And being so beautiful, and they need work because they're not yes. debuted yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. Mm-hmm. Yes, because there's got to be something really intimidating about them, right? Yes. Um, but like knows that they're intimidated, and like what I liked about Sayonji is that like she obviously has like a one sided like crush, right? Mm-hmm. With, with her boss who's engaged and i was like i'm so glad they're not making that work out yeah i'm like great at least she knows she's like oh no i know that it's not a thing but i'm just reframing it now to be like i'm appreciative of him i'm like girl whatever you need to do just don't wreck that marriage girl (laughs) (laughs) i was like tread carefully tread carefully diva um but yeah there's something like really intimidating about her but the like the like secret desire to like do something mm-hmm. still being so earnest but so, yes there's still something earnest about why she's coming off like this way that's yes good. that's good Gian, I, we're, she's <laughs> like a little shy with her feelings i was like yes. that's june that is june to a t girl mm-hmm. well girl you're getting booked june so mm-hmm. <laughs> that's my main vocalist <laughs> um yet, i yeah. also casted the um tutor Oh, okay. O- Okana. Okada? Okana. Okana. 
Mm -hmm. And I think it's really funny when gay movies when queer movies will cast somebody famously yeah. queer to play someone to homophobic. play someone homophobic absolutely so i um i casted busan kwan or hanbin <laughs> <laughs> that would be a gag to see song hanbin do it because it's like he could be a tutor right mm -hmm. yeah in, a, in an au let's say yeah <laughs> let's say it <laughs> let's say it that's good. I like that. Or like Boo. I think I like it. Just as like guest star, Boo yes. Sung Kwan. <laughs> and Boo Sung Kwan as Okana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Special guest. Special guest. I love that. Yeah. Um, I, it wasn't really a casting, but I messaged you that like, <laughs> I messaged Aubrey and I was like, how much of a Lune, how much of N team do you know before I go into this recording? And you said you knew enough, right? Like you knew enough. I, knew enough. Like I watched and team with you guys okay. and I've been able to like watch some variety. I listen to their music because I love, yeah. I love discography. Yes. Great discography. Yeah. And when I f was first reading it, I wasn't getting the clear, clear and team members. And I'm curious <laughs> to see if you, if you, if you feel the same way. But when I watched the drama, I was like, I am staring. I am staring at Joe as Ida. And I am staring as Yuma as Aoki. I cannot unsee it. That is all I see. I am just Ooh. seeing these two. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Joe oh. is Ida. Joe is Ida. They're the same. They're the same. Their demeanor? Wow. Exactly. Because we had, I had just watched, um, we had just watched for a variety. We just watched Ant Team Lab with their second anniversary. And they did, on their first anniversary, they did another skit too. But they mm -hmm. keep putting Joe as like the cold character mm -hmm. and he has to be mean and he can't do it. And the entire time I was like, I'm just watching Ida. <laughs> oh my god i need like you know how there's like the korean and thai crossovers mm -hmm. um, now i need like a japanese korean like crossovers yes. to get and team in the please, please please if anyone is listening please make a fan edit of like the jbl and then like joe <laughs> yeah please 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 do because that's all i'm seeing the trailer sound and music and you can you just put it over joe <laughs> please please wow. um Oh. The Yuma, I think, plays out a little bit more now that I'm getting to know Yuma a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. obviously, like, when I first got into N-Team, I was just focused because I knew the, like, four, right? Yeah. The four that came from Island because I knew them. And I was, you know, there's just another BL brewing over with, with EJ <laughs> and Nicholas that I was so distracted. <laughs> Fair. That, that I didn't realize there was, like, a full movement online of, like, don't forget about Yuma. Make sure you all pay attention, close attention to Yuma. And I was like, what are you, what is everyone talking about? Now that's the marketing I can get into. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so Not I, good. I just got that vibe from, from the drama too. I don't think Yuma, Yuma's personality isn't as crazed <laughs> as Aoki, but he is definitely like outgoing and playful. Yes. The, I need that energy. Yes. I need the energetic people. Yeah. No. So I, um, yes. Yeah, so I would cast Japanese actors to play this game drama. It's so good. <laughs> and then while I was during, while I was, while I was in that headspace and I was watching the drama, I was like, Hash the actress that plays Hashimoto looks like a little sister version of Fuma. Like she has wow. like the eyes and the face. Yes. Wow. But yes. That's why I was like, I, Am I, either I'm watching too much end team content right now or yeah. or the the stars are aligning. <laughs> wow, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I think we can take that to Hive. They've got nothing going on right now. I think we can go to Hive right now. Yeah. Yeah, their their books are completely clear. <laughs> They're just twiddling their phones. <laughs> they're they're struggling to figure out what to do next over at the Hive offices. They have nothing planned. Nothing's nothing. going on. Nothing. I don't even know what talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sold. I really like that casting. So I really do. Can I give you an understudy for Yes, please. Working? We gotta have backups. Yeah. My understudy is Woon Hawk from Boy Next Door. <gasps> wow. For Aoki? For Aoki. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. being crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
honestly, you could I could see I could see Boy Next Door doing a skit of like we're gonna do my love mix up as like a variety as a variety episode. Oh, Jayon is a Ida. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, absolutely. I could see that. I could see that. You could see that. I could see like a Sung Hoon is Hashimoto. Yeah, yeah. I could see like a Lee Han as Ida. Mm-hmm. But he's like, it's got to be a little rougher. So maybe, maybe Taesan. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll swap them out between scenes. Nobody yes. will know. Well, we're going to have to do chemistry reads. I think we're going to have to mix everyone up to see. I think so. <laughs> to see who's the best chemistry. I also felt bad because I was like, I was looking for teenagers and I was like, I wish I knew more about TWS because I'm sure somebody in TWS could do something. <laughs> And I know RJ likes TWS. Do this, don't do this to me. My brain, it's not, I can't stop. I need to turn <laughs> off my brain. You started no. this with the Lulu. I know. Because if it was TWS, uh, to us, um, mm-hmm. I think she knew who's the leader would be Ida. And Aoki would probably be, like, it would probably be Kyungmin, who is their Mangne. Because mm-hmm. he... For a Mangne, he's very playful. Like he's l- kind of like Unak. Yeah. But in a more like, oh, I'm I'm gonna speak formally, like I'm gonna use for um like formal speech, but I'm mm-hmm. reading you. Like <laughs> it, that's kind of the the thing. He's like, Hyung, you're an idiot. Like that's kind of like the <laughs> the the vibe that I get from from that. So Oh, I love it. But no, I'm I'm a hundred percent for the anti-team crossover. Anti-team Korean crossover. Because unlike the Thai crossovers, they will be able to understand each other. <gasps> yes. You're right, because they speak both Korean and Japanese. They speak both Korean and Japanese. Wow. And I think we did it. I think we, 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 we really solved <laughs> we solved it. And we've said all there is to say about my love mix up. What is your like final, like outgoing take mm-hmm. on my love mix up? I love it. I part of like Ha- being a creative is having to refill your creative well yeah and if i need a, a sweet high school rom-com it is mm-hmm. the perfect read i think it's the perfect story to get into bl if you know somebody that hasn't read bl before i think it's I a totally really agree. starting point i totally agree it is the great it's a great starting point for for anyone that want to read bl so if you've been thinking about it listeners I would definitely start with this one. Um, go to your library. Go to your library. Request it. <laughs> Request it, please. Um, okay. Uh, I turned off the camera. I, I stopped recording, Auburn. Cool. Because I just want to ask, um, yeah. have people like done like, like let's say on like AO3 or Wattpad, like <laughs> if someone were to write an anti version, but then it's the My Love Mix-Up story, like, yeah. is that something that people would do? I think so. Okay. I've, I feel I feel like I've read like AUs like that. Yeah. Where it's like this is inspired by like this BL, but what if it was these characters? Like the that? fan fiction I read in middle school <gasps> was Kingdom Hearts. <gasps> it was Disney AU. Oh. It was like it was like Riku and Sora, and they were it was like Cinderella. So it was plot. <gasps> it was beat for beat Cinderella. Beat for beat Cinderella, <laughs> but it's Riku and Sora. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. And then Roxas and Axel were Beauty of the Beast. Ah, that's so <laughs> dumb. That is so funny. Okay, okay. Um, because you yeah. know maybe, maybe there are people out there that could feel inspired to write that. Um, <laughs> if people have time in their days, time or the to rotting help. in the brain is just too strong it needs to get out yeah, it's gotta get out yes it's gotta get out gotta. someone will feel inspired to do it yeah and i hope and i would like to inspire them yes i hope <laughs> this ins- i hope this conversation inspires them wow well thank you so much auburn for joining me again on blit book club um Yes, thank you for having me. It's always a delight. Uh, well, go ahead and plug plug your own blit. <laughs> yes, I'm glit. So you I have are a glit. glit for you everybody. A- yeah, um, cool. Please go pre-order the trial period. It is also a teen rom-com, Enemies mm-hmm. to Lovers, Fake Dating. It's about two people who have nothing in common except for their inability to sustain romantic relationships. Amazing. 
and it comes out February 4th. Uh, stay tuned for November. Um, they're going to start a pre-order campaign. So if you oh, pre-order nice. the book, you'll get an extra little goodie. Cool. And you can follow me on Instagram at Auburn Morrow Books uh, to find out more. Amazing. Yes, I know the pre-order links are already out there, so make sure you do it. And if you're mm -hmm. buying multiple copies, make sure you do one pre-order at a time because that helps. Right. That <laughs> that helps the uh, not the algorithm, but it helps the uh, helps uh, the author. Helps, helps me. Helps the author. And so lot. I get booked for another. Yes. <laughs> book. Yeah, we got a book. Book for book. Bookie for books. Yeah. Yes. And I'm main vocal of Boys Love Boys Love. <laughs> so just my one pick. <laughs> yes. If you're already on this feed listening to this, you're probably already on the channel. So thanks for your support. We also have the Patreon where you can um, enjoy our other reactions. And we do just a, a series just for Patreon. Um, so you can join us over there. Thank you again, Auburn. Thank you. And thanks everyone for listening. Bye. 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 Bye.